Hello, my name is Meredith Edwards and welcome to Revive, your weekly guided meditation for creative inspiration. So I invite you to tune in with me here, wherever you are in time and space, let us gather here together now. As always, simply tuning into your breath. Slowing down your inhales and exhales. Deep, wide and long breath. Calming your central nervous system, inviting you into your inner awareness, your inner experience, your inner eye. And as you breathe, filling the body and the mind with your breath and spaciousness, releasing any kind of attachment, attachment of thought or feeling or sensation. so that we may be a witness to our experience rather than identifying with it. That our thoughts, our feelings, our sensations do not do define us or label us, but rather we are human beings having this experience and the thoughts and feelings and sensations and emotions will come and go, the ebbs and flows of our experience. Together, let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let go. Inhale, receive. Exhale, release. Continuing with your breath here your own rhythm. Tuning into the sensations of your body now. So doing a physical scan of your body from crown to toe. And again, just simply noticing the sensations of the body. No need to judge or label or attach to the sensation or explain it now. Just simply noticing. Maybe there's warmth or heat or coolness, maybe there's a tingling sensation somewhere, maybe somewhere in the body feels overactive or somewhere else feels underactive or tired. I'm communicating here in words, but our sensations may go beyond words beyond explanation. As you breathe, just simply becoming aware of your experience.
here right now. major events happening in the world and within our collective, we are also in the midst of the holidays. A time of high energy, oftentimes a chaotic energy or a sense of overwhelm or excitement we might be experiencing thoughts and feelings and emotions that we don't normally feel every other month of the year. We might be having challenging, difficult or unusual conversation. That we perhaps have a certain charge to or a reaction to that we don't normally experience on our day to day. And so it's often during these times where we can feel disconnected from ourselves, overwhelmed, challenged out of sorts, out of our bodies, out of our minds. But with a very simple practice of remembering the body and the breath, body and the breath, body and the breath will bring you back home to yourself. from wherever you are, with whomever you're with, we can always come back to the breath and back to our body to bring us back to ourselves. Together, let's take a deep inhale and exhale, deep inhale, and exhale, deep inhale, and exhale. Notice the sensations of the body. Where is the body now? Together, we'll take one more inhale and exhale. Gently float your eyes open. Welcome back. So I wanted to share with you this very simple practice of just tuning back into your body and your breath, your body and your breath, your body and your breath will bring you back at any point in time. If you are feeling disconnected or overwhelmed or feeling like you're taking on someone else's stuff or someone else's story, or that the emotions, the anger, the sadness, the rage is taking over your experience, you can always come back to the body and the breath. And the body allows us to really feel that experience without needing to ignore it or try to change it or try to act like it's something different around someone else's presence as we do sometimes. 
and it can help us with reacting and responding in the present moment from a place of truth, from a place of connection with our selves and even our higher self. Body and breath. And you don't need to be in any kind of meditative state or in any kind of sacred space. You can be anywhere with anyone and always come back to your body and your breath so that we may create conscious calls to action from our truth, from our power to aid us in our everyday creative lives. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.